Welcome back to my kitchen. I am Tina with Hanging with Frugal Tina. So first of all, thank you for tuning in. So what I thought about was um, how to feed myself on a very, very small budget. And I want to preface with saying this is not how I feed myself generally. This is an idea of what I might do in a situation like this. If I really, I'm doing it from a place of comfort where my belly is full and I'm not starving. So I can maybe not do like the most extravagant thing. So this is just an idea of something I might do. Um, if you are struggling with food insecurities, please reach out to the schools, churches, 211, anywhere. Send me a message. I will try and help you best I can. I don't have any money to help you, but maybe I can help find some ideas. With that being said, let's move right on to what I'm doing today. Got to get the eyeballs out, can't see. I have a receipt here. Um, on this, I got a sweet potato for 47 cents, a Roma tomato for 18 cents, and I bought three slices of cheese. I only want two for this video, but I bought three. So that came to 57 cents for three slices of cheese, I'm going to use two. That brings my grand total to a dollar three. So let's get it. Let's go. Let's heat up the pot. Come on. I forgot to add that I will be using pantry staples. Now, what looks like pantry staples in my house may not be the same as yours, but I'm doing the best that I can. So let's get right back to it. Let's get it. Let's go. Come on. All right. There's my receipt. 47 cents for the sweet potato. 18 cents for the tomato and then you see the cheese there for 57 cents I'm only using two of the slices on this one I needed the extra slice for a different video so that would bring my grand total to one dollar and three cents well I goofed up I ended up only using one slice of cheese for this recipe so it ended up costing me 84 cents <music> Here's what we're using. We're using a sweet potato, a tomato, one slice of this cheese. My freebies are chili powder, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and parsley as a garnish. I also thought that it might taste good if I had sour cream, and I do have some on hand. However, that would bring me over my dollar. So what I'm going to do at the end, just to see, I'm going to taste it with it on there. And I'll also taste it with it off and give you my opinion. Okay, the first thing I did is I washed the heck out of this potato, sweet potato. I'm going to slice it really thin. And then where I see spots I don't like, I'm just going to get rid of that. But I'm not going to get rid of it with a knife because that's going to take away too much of the potato. I'm going to use a potato peeler and where I see where I don't like, I'm just going to take that off. That's it. Okay. So it looks a little wonky, but I want as much skin as I can have on it. So, I'm just going to slice it really, really thin. Kind of like that. Not potato chip thin, but thin. See how that is? Just like that. And I'm going to continue on with this potato because I'm going to make like little chips out of them until we get down to the bottom. Let me slice that up. Wow, that made quite a bit. I knew that it made a lot, but I wasn't sure that it was gonna make this much. Cause you're thinking, look at that one little potato. How is that gonna fill anybody up? Well, look, look what it made. So let's get on to the next step. Okay, so I'm gonna take the potatoes that I cut up and I'm gonna put them in a bowl. 
I forgot to put out olive oil for this, but you need a little bit of oil to get it to stick. I'm gonna add a drizzle oil on top of it just to get it wet. Give it a good mix. Hold on. I'm gonna give it a good shaking. Oh. Let me shake that up real quick. Now you're going to season to taste. Uh, I'm going to add some garlic powder, about a quarter teaspoon, some onion powder, about the same. I'm eyeballing some chili powder, a little heat, a little bit of paprika. Then we're going to give that a good old shaking again. Okay, good old shaking they got. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on a parchment paper lined pan. And we're going to dump these right out of the pan. Then I'm going to spread them out and we're going to put them in a 400 degree oven until they're cooked. Until they're done. It's a lot of slices here. I know it's going to fill a plate up. Okay, so I'm going to put those in the oven and let them start cooking. In the oven, they go. Okay, as they're getting ready to be done, I'm going to slice up this tomato into little squares, I guess. Like a salsa, maybe, but a dry one. I almost didn't want to cut. He sharpened it, so it should be okay. Barely have to press. Maybe I didn't sharpen it as good as I thought I did. All right, there we go. Put that up there. Now I'm going to move it out of the way because I'm taking the other stuff out of the oven. Boy, oh boy, did I get to these just in the nick of time, huh? I almost burned a couple. And here's the truth. I did burn the other batch. I had to run to the store and get another tiny potato. And this one was a little bit smaller than the rest because you can see there's not as much here, but that's okay. I didn't want to go over my limit, so I had to get a smaller one because they only had this and great big ones. Put these together. These meals seem very similar to me, but not in the store. It was very different in my head because one was chili powder and the other one was lemon. Okay. Okay, we have our nice thick slice of cheese left. We start breaking it up and uh, sticking it on there. I'm bunching it up in my fingers to make it go a little farther. Okay, that's going in the oven to melt the cheese. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Can't wait to taste it. I'm gonna put that on a plate and plate it up and make it look pretty, pretty. All right, so we're gonna move those over to the plate. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of the tomatoes, or all of the tomatoes, 
Now we're gonna dress this one up. Okay, even though the sour cream isn't part of it, I want to put it on just so we can taste it so I can give you my honest opinion. Now these are going to be a little bit spicy because of the chili powder. Just a little bit in the center so we can get it a taste. All right, let me move the camera around so we can get a good taste. If you get any benefit at all from my content, you can help me out by clicking like, share, commenting, and definitely hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, so Aiden's gonna try this one with me. I have a little bit of sour cream that wasn't in the, wasn't in the uh, budget, but I just wanted to put it on there so we could taste it. So let me just show you what we got going on here. If I could do it without dropping it anyway. You want me to help you? I think I got it. There we go. See? Cheese! Okay. All right. So much for that. Well, you can take one with your finger or the fork, whichever you want. I'm going to start with my finger, with just the plain. Go ahead, grab one over here. Just cheese and tomato. It's going to be a little spicy because there's uh, chili powder on it. Awesome. Ready? Let's get, let me put another tomato on mine. Let's give it a go. Ready? Go. Just shove it in. Mmm. <laughs> I didn't chew it until he stuck it in his mouth. Oh. Mm -hmm. I like that. I've never had cheese on a sweet potato. Let's try it with a little bit of sour cream. Okay, grab one right there. Got you one. I keep giving you the good ones, and I can't find one. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Took my tomato. Sorry, baby. Okay, sour cream, tomato, and the sweet potato. Oh, I spit. Ready? Ready? Go. Mmm. Mmm. I think it's better without. What do you think? Better without. Without? Yeah. All right. Well, that's yummy. Go ahead. You can continue on. We're going to eat this whole plate. Plenty for me. Enough for me to share. Hope you try it. Hope you like it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.